All right, every smartphone performance, battery efficiency, thermal optimization, and even imaging processor are lightly tied to the chipset. In other words, if the chip on your smartphone is crap, your smartphone will be crap. But if the chip on your smartphone is super powerful, then your smartphone will be top notch. That's why in this video, I'll be comparing the MediaTek Dream 6900 versus Snapdragon 778 G chipset versus the latest Exynos 1280 chipset from Samsung versus MediaTek MEG 96. So at the end of this video, you get to know which of these chipsets is the most powerful. And I also give you the list of smartphones that these chipsets are powering. So you can know which of the smartphones you can get with this chipset. Now starting with the manufacturing process, the Samsung Exynos 1280 is built on a 5 nanometer node. While both the Snapdragon 778G and MediaTek Dream 6900 were built on a 6 nanometer process. As for the MediaTek Helio G96, it is manufactured on a 12 nanometer node. You see, in the chipset world, the smaller the node, the better it is because it results in power efficiency and thermal optimization. So if we should go by that philosophy, the Samsung Exynos 1280 with 5 nanometer process is expected to have superiority when it comes to power efficiency and thermal optimization. But in most cases, I've noticed the nanometer processors catching up with it when it comes to optimization in thermal and batch efficiency. And when it comes to CPU architecture, the designs are different. The Snapdragon 7 G chipset has four performance cores plus four efficiency cores, while the others here have two performance cores and six efficiency cores. In a real-time test on Gimbench, the Snapdragon 778 G chipset has the highest scores, followed by MediaTek Dream 6900 chipset. On Antutu, the Snapdragon wins once again, followed by MediaTek Dream 6900 chipset. Now, if you run the scores over time, the scores of the Snapdragon 778 chipset is more consistent, and the MediaTek Dream 6900 is following suit bomber to bomber. So in other words, these two chipsets are far ahead of the Samsung Exynos 1280 and MediaTek MU G96. When it comes to the GPU, going by my experience thus far, the MediaTek MU G96 is by far the weakest of the chipset, while the smoothest of them all is the Snapdragon 778G chipset, closely followed by the MediaTek Dream 900. The Exynos 1280 does compete but can easily get overwhelmed along the line. When it comes to issue of connectivity, now these chipsets are all 5G connected except the MediaTek Helio G96. Now smartphones that are powered by MediaTek Helio G96 are also the cheapest, while the smartphones that are powered by the Snapdragon 778 G chipset are more expensive. Then Samsung Exynos 1280 are also expensive, but sitting in between the middle is the MediaTek Dream 6900. So, like I said earlier, this chipset also determines the quality of the image we get to reasonable extent. And that's because the image signal processor plays a large role when it comes to imaging processing because they have that inbuilt system that will enable uh, the optimization of. Uh, using the software plus the sensor. So all these chipsets can take good pictures depending on the sensor that is paired with. So for example, if I pair this chipset with, with, that, uh, with a uh, sensor, 30 megapixel sensor, or and I pair them with that of 408 megapixel sensor, you are expected to see a large difference. That is, pairing them with 408 megapixel sensor or 4 megapixel sensor or a flagship 50 megapixel sensor will give you a better geography and photography experience, and that is on period. But the question is, which of these chipset is most powerful? Well, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 D chipset is the most powerful chipset of all these ones. It is on a, it, this Snapdragon 778 D chipset is on a different link of its own, while it is followed by the MediaTek Dream City 900 chipset. It's also a top notch performance. So I will give the Snapdragon 7 GP chipset the winner of this comparison. While the second position is the MediaTek Dream 6900, the third position is Samsung Exynos 1280, while the MediaTek Energy 96 takes the last position. 
But I didn't know that the Snapdragon 78 G 5G chipset is the winner of this comparison. Second position is the 900 chipset by MediaTek, and then Samsung Exynos is the third position. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. And remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post bell. It's my idea. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around in my next one.